My favorite part of when cave was where they shut off all the lights. Because I'm not used to having all the lights off and uh, all the and being it being it so, so quiet. There was a lot of box work. And it looks like a bunch of boxes. I think it's important so that people can go to the caves and stuff. I like the popcorn. Doing the hike and playing the games. Uh, we met a wolf spider on a pine cone. It was gray and bigger than usual. Or a wolf would try and catch the prairie dog and camouflage to keep animals so they safe so they don't become extinct. I don't want anything to change over the next hundred years because it's really nice where it is already. The only thing that I really want to change is more animals, more black-footed ferrets. My favorite part was the box work and popcorn. Um, the cave because of how cool it was in there and um, I just, and the darkness in the cave, it was just, and how the cave looked, it was just amazing. I remember seeing a bunch of box work, rocks, that looked, and I saw this one rock on the roof that looked like it was half an alligator and not half an alligator or something like that. To think all that was there before we even knew it. Well, basically, what I want to do when I grow up is work at Wind Cave and be one of those explorers. My favorite thing about Wind Cave was going in the cave and seeing all this box work and all that. I would like to see it change and be and be bigger. I think the na the National Park Service is special because they um, reserve um, planes and other land for animals and people to see and do things. I, I like how the box work was so different from what I saw in Jewel Cave. I really wanted to go because I've never been there before so it was pretty fun. The favorite part I went to the one cave is um, that all the n pretty nature and that I saw a big wolf spider and and I saw buffalo and we hiked and we played games and we did all that kind of stuff. The thing that I really want to see is a whole flock of buffalo. You, they have railing and stuff. So, if you touch, so if you make sure that you don't touch it, then then the the rocks won't be comp like the rocks won't be ruined for everybody. My favorite part was seeing the cave and the jewels and the popcorn and the box work. That was pretty cool. When he turned off all the lights, it was really calming and and looking at all the pretty um, pretty rocks and then he then he um, took a flashlight and he pointed to this and there was a fossil in the rock. When we wa went on a hike, some people saw a wolf spider, uh, I saw a buffalo and then we got poured on so we had to go back. It's fun to see all the nature and stuff, and then people need to get out sometimes and look at, at that. I like to see a park with gold. In the next hundred years, I'd like to see the buffalo still roam the national park. Because it's still a sacred place, so they still need to roam around. It is important to keep it clean and sacred. It's where we came from, and we need the buffalo because they are sacred. I hope we find all the cave. People might shoot living things like deer and buffalo and other things and to keep it clean for the animals. I liked when we were on our way there. I liked the hills because it was pretty. I think you should keep it clean because it is sacred. What I would like to see happen in the next hundred years is a thousand 
of fossils and the stuff that came. I liked um, going under the ground in Wing Cave. I liked the fossils. There were little bitty fossil prints in that wall. Not the wall, but the ceiling. There is a lot of fossils to preserve, and it's where we came from, under the ground.